Hi everyone, thank you for your well wishes for my foot. It's feeling much, much better. Here we are at the end of the course. Uh, we ended significantly or symbolically with death and the corpse. It's the one sure thing all of us will face, uh, though we will not necessarily face, necessarily I say, uh, the aspect of actually being dead. Uh, death in its final state is usually experienced by the living. Um, unless you have uh, you know, a range of different ideas about what happens to us as a soul reincarnation. And uh, that is where ethnography and anthropology comes into play, because people have varying different kinds of uh, overlapping and intertwined ideas about death and dying. And I would say that for the most part, as an anthropologist, uh, there's quite also quite a bit of uh, skepticism and questioning, sort of existential crises attached with the specter of death itself. So even if we're quite sure, that uh, we will go to heaven. There's a little voice somewhere in the back of our mind that asks, what if there isn't a heaven? What if this is really it? And it's that kind of questioning that makes death uh, and dying such a very, very powerful uh, form of, of witnessing the frailty and strength of, of human life. And it's on that note, um, I didn't actually read too many questions uh, on the site itself this time. I just want to s send out a big appreciation to all of your wonderful uh, comments, enthusiasm, poems, amazing stories, um, very personal stories for all of those of you who've lost a loved one. Uh, my heart goes out to you. For all of those of you who are living with a chronic or life-threatening illness, uh, my heart goes out to you. And I'm glad that we could share this space um, at the very same time that we have been online, UCT as a university and many other universities in South Africa have been very much offline uh, in the sense of classroom offline. There's been uh, quite major radical protests, uh, collective uh, struggle for free and equal education in South Africa, which was one of the early promises of the liberation movement. And so we're just watching very carefully to see what happens, supporting our students all of our students along the way. It's been quite a trying time. You can see I'm quite tired get, uh, keeping up with my WhatsApp messages and Twitter and Facebook and all the different messaging devices that the various uh, executives of the universities and my colleagues and my students are sending and posting as they keep us up to date. So if through this course you've become interested in, in South Africa, interested in U UCT, um, there's quite a bit online that you can have a look and see what was happening with your... Um, classmates who are not, uh, who take medicine and the arts as, as students in our own class, but uh, currently are not attending class, or not evenly so. So it is at this intricacies uh, in the health sciences that has been incredibly radicalized uh, in fighting for um, mediation, for communication, and uh, many people are quite worried about the future of next year's uh, intake of medical doctors if 2016 is not wrapped up. And that's another whole story. Uh, but just so you know that uh, while you've been online doing this course, there has been major upheaval in the home university that's been offering the MOOC. I think it's just an important context. So it's all a part of death and rebirth and the pain of transition in between and transformation and the beauty of transformation if uh, what we hope come is the outcome actually happens. So with that, there's somebody knocking on my door downstairs. And because I don't have a list of your questions this week, uh, they were just praise. All I can say is thank you, thank you, thank you for being here, thank you for staying with it. Uh, those of you who did all the weeks, congratulations. There's such a high sort of tendency to get caught up in other sorts of, life is busy. So for those of you who really uh, had the tenacity to stay with this, thank you. And um, I'm just an email away, Steve is just an email away. And uh, at the moment, while we don't have our face-to-face -face students, uh, we have more time for online conversations. Keep well, and I hope we'll see you again. Bye-bye.